What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about six reasons that he's not going to tell you why uh, he stopped chasing. But because I'm your boy, because I got your back, I am going to betray the, the male species. And I want to give you the lowdown on the six reasons why he's not chasing anymore, okay? So number one is, uh, and a lot of these are a little obvious, but I mean, it is what it is, okay? Number one is you two want, you both want different things. And again, this sounds really obvious, but let me explain something. You might, and I always say this, a guy might think he wants something, then it gets serious and he realizes it's not what I want. That's one way, right, to think of it. Another way to think of it is maybe, you know, he likes your company, but he doesn't want to lead you on anymore. I know that's a joke, right? Because guys are just notorious for leaving girls on. But let's just say he's a decent guy. Um, and he's just not chasing anymore. He's not showing the interest. He's not initiating like he used to. One of the reasons might be he just doesn't want to lead you on or he feels like you guys are wanting two different, you know, two different things. And you just rather not go down that path. That's going to be a lot of heartbreak, hassle, pain in the ass, arguing, confrontation, accountability um, in the long run. So he might just pull away. And of course, if he doesn't tell you why, again, it comes down to confrontation and accountability. That's why he's not going to open his mouth and being straightforward with you. But yeah, so that's number one. Number two is kind of more of the destructive, you know, dark side is he's trying to regain some power. If you two are going back and forth like this or he feels like he needs to regain some ground, He's going to stop chasing in hopes that you chase him, right? Because the more a guy chases, um, the more it's showing his investment. And while that's a good thing, you know, I mean, you want both parties to invest. They always say, you know, who loves less wins. And if he's doing all the chasing and you're not chasing at all, then, or and or if you're both chasing, again, going like this, it comes, I mean, it comes down to a power struggle. I mean, yeah, you both can have equal power, but in the beginning, you know, not only is that a, a perfect world, but in the beginning, you kind of want to fight for who wears the pants in the relationship. So he might stop chasing a little bit. I would say this is mind games, not even, um, not even just, uh, um, you know, going back. It's just mind games, okay? Not even gaining power. This is just another form of mind games. He might pull away and see how you react, okay? Number three, I would say his honestly, he's just losing interest. He got to know you, and then he realized it's not what I wanted, which kind of goes to another one, which is uh, number four is he's not, he doesn't see the benefits, okay? So let's say he got to know you. You're fun. You're awesome. But again, you're just not what he's looking for. You, you know, you don't have the benefits that he's looking for. You you might not be what, he, you know, his type. You might come i mean it, it could be a thousand things i can go this could be a really long video if i wanted it to be but you just don't have the the things he's looking for in a woman and he might not even know what that is right it's an attraction thing attraction is not a choice he just doesn't feel the attraction okay now number five would be maybe your neediness is coming off whenever a guy uh starts to chase a woman a woman uh, some women feel like, or let's say a guy starts to initiate a lot or uh, puts a lot of effort in in the beginning. That tells a lot of women, I don't know what it does. It, it gets, I'm telling you, it makes, it's like turning on a switch with women. Uh, it makes them feel like, oh, it's okay. I can, I can just let out all my secrets. I can let out all these crazy things. By the way, I, I, I collect these. You know, like she just goes fucking nuts. You know, you open a fucking... Uh, uh, her door and she has a bunch of collection of giraffes or something not that I do but I mean she just starts going crazy with something right some women think it's okay that once a guy starts like opening um, or initiating and coming uh, you know towards her and progressing and making a lot of moves and showing her a lot of attention that she that she can you know be really open with him and start being oh you know I really like you I think you're a great guy I want I you know I I, I, I want to see where this goes I I can I love spending every moment stop that okay stop that because you got again you got to remember guys are usually like that in the beginning okay and then it kind of drifts off and depending if you're the right woman for him, it maintains and it, you know stuff like that. But guys are always—it's always like an insulin spike. Guys always have that sharp spike in the beginning. That's just how they are. So don't don't feed it and then realize, oh shit, 
you know, I, I read it wrong. I gave them all this information. I gave them all this power when that was just how guys are naturally, okay? And I know that sounds stupid, but trust me, a lot of guys show a lot of interest in the first two weeks. And then for some reason, and when I say some reason, I mean, if you're the girl that he wants and he dates you, then it kind of stay. I mean, it goes like boom, and then it kind of you know just levels off up here. But if you're, he's not sure about you, or he's not convinced yet, or the two weeks are up and you're kind of over that uh, that hump, um, you know that romantic period, it might go like this and then go down a little and then start you know. So don't show all your cards in the beginning just because he is. And finally, the last one, number six. There's a fucking another woman. Okay, there's another woman involved. And uh, you got some competition, especially if you met the guy online or you met the guy at a bar or a, an app, okay? Bet your ass he's talking to other women, okay? So there you go, ladies. There's the six reasons why guys uh, stop chasing. Things that guys probably won't tell you. They'd rather just ghost you or um, hopefully uh, some things. I like can say that girl, uh, you know, the other girl in the picture goes away so he'll start showing interest again. Or maybe, hey, he hangs out with you a little more and he realizes, okay, I'm going to start chasing again because she's a cool chick, so on and so forth. That being said, ladies, I love you. Take care and peace.